now we return to the case of Mad Millie's Meat Shop. Just to refresh your memory, here's a basic summary. Jim, an employee of Mad Millie's Meat Shop, which sells great pepperoni, by the way, feels the staff are underpaid. The boss, Millie, feels they're paid too much. You are a famous math detective hired to sort the problem out. Here is everyone's hourly pay or wage once again. And here are the three measures of central tendency or the average. Well, what do you think, Jim, you ask as you grab your eighth piece of pepperoni from the jar? Your stomach actually felt full after four, but who's counting when you've got pepperoni this good? Jim took a moment to gather his thoughts on what he had learned about averages. It all makes sense to me, he happily exclaimed. Now I know what the proper way to measure the average pay is, and I know exactly what to say to Millie, the owner. Good, you reply. That is good. Let me hear what you're going to say. So, what is Jim going to say to Millie, the owner? Which average is the best one to use here? What do you think? Pause the video for a moment to think about it. Jim slowly collects his thoughts. Well, I initially noticed that the most common pay is $10 per hour. Three of us are making that wage. And so I told Millie that the average person makes $10 per hour. I guess I was using the mode. But it isn't really great here because it's also at the very lowest of the pay list. And if I'm honest, it was a bit of an exaggeration on my part. On the other hand, Millie cited the mean, which is sixteen eighty nine per hour. And that includes all of the wages, including the outliers of both managers' pays of $30 per hour and $45 per hour. So that was totally an exaggeration on her part too. It seems the best number here would actually be the median, which is $11 per hour. I think that's the best reflection of the average pay here, and I feel confident in being able to justify that to Millie. Nice work, Jim. Nice work indeed. I'm proud of you. You've really learned your averages. And so, it seems like my work here is done. Another customer served. I must be off now to aid the next person in need of my amazing math help. But um, just before I go, um, do you happen to have any more of that pepperoni? The uh, jar has somehow inexplicably gone empty. <coughs> hmm.